How you doing, Mr. DJ Mac? Uh, outsourcing Billboard's Hot 100 July 29th, 1972. Can't seem to let that Billboard Hot 100 go. There's so many. It's like every other Billboard Hot 100. All the tons and tons, loads of Lost 45s. Got one for you. Remake of the song In the Ghetto by Candy Statton coming in at number number 54. Up one from 55 on Billboard's Hot 100. Candy Statton lending a soulful rendition of the Elvis Presley classic. I'll get into that in just a minute. Candy Statton started out gospel singing. She was born in Hansville, Alabama. Not far from Coleman, Alabama, which is north of Birmingham. But later on, she went to the Jewel Christian Academy in Nashville, Tennessee, and her singing abilities were discovered there. And the pastor of the school teamed up Candy Staten with her sister Maggie and another woman, a girl named Naomi Harrison, and they formed uh, they formed a Jewel Gospel Trio. Go. Jewel Gospel Trio, and they toured with some gospel legends back in the 50s, probably in the early 60s, too. They toured with the Soul Stirrers. They uh, toured with C.L. Franklin, famed pastor, father of Aretha Franklin, and they toured with Mahalia Jackson, the Jewel Gospel Trio. Later on, though, in the late 60s, Candy Staten was introduced to Rick Hall. Rick Hall, who managed the Fame Studios in Muscle Shoals, Alabama, introduced to Rick Hall by uh, Clarence Carter. And she was married to Clarence Carter for a while. And uh, that's when she recorded some of her, well, uh, Stand By Your Man recorded at Muscle Shoals. And also, I presume that this song also was recorded at Muscle Shoals in the ghetto. And the ghetto, originally done by Elvis, is written by Mac Davis. In the Ghetto it was recorded at the American Sound Studio. The original version of, of uh, In the Ghetto by Elvis recorded at the American Sound Studio in Memphis, Tennessee. And that was recorded in uh, the, the, the other songs that were recorded in, 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 those, in those sessions at American Sound Studios, Suspicious Minds and Don't Cry Daddy, Elvis's biggest big comeback hits in 1969. But let's move it over to Candy Statton, her rendition of In the Ghetto. In 19, summer of 1972, was not a very big hit for her, though. On the guy's high is number 48 on Billboard's Hot 100, but it was on Billboard's Hot 100 for 11 weeks. That's almost three months. Candy Stanton within the ghetto on Billboard's Hot 100, July 29, 1972.